travelers. We are in New Hampshire and we've been here for the last few days enjoying the most incredible fall colors I've ever seen in my entire life. It's been such an amazing experience. But we have to start making our way back west towards Kevin's parents' house. But we're gonna go through Vermont in the process and squeeze in a few more fall activities. And then hopefully we'll end up somewhere in New York State tonight, we're not sure. So let's go find some pumpkin patches and more awesome fall colors, what do you say? We drove a lot of little back roads through New Hampshire and eventually we crossed over into Vermont. We're trying to get to the town of Woodstock, Vermont to have lunch, but we came across this little red covered bridge. So of course we had to drive across it. Of course I made him drive across it. Road trips are always better when you remember that you have apple cider donuts to eat. These are really good too. Oh yeah, we got these yesterday at uh, Apple Orchard. Been to an apple orchard. Not a pumpkin patch yet though. Still looking for those. You can find one today. I know it. I wanted to come to Woodstock, Vermont because I just saw the cutest photos of this little town and so far it's living up to my expectations. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time to spend here since we're just transiting through. I think the next time we come to New England, we'll probably base ourselves here, but we're gonna have some lunch and wander around and look at some of the old colonial houses and buildings and stuff and take a couple photos and then we'll be on our way. There was that really cool red covered bridge just outside of town, but there's also one right in the middle of town. So it's the New Englandiest of New England places I've seen yet. <laughs> it seems like in New England or wherever we go, a lot of the pumpkin patch fall kind of harvest stuff is on the weekends. There's a little bit of a catch-22 because the weekends are definitely the most crowded as you saw in our last couple of videos. But if you want to go to that kind of place, that's when those are open. We looked around for one for today, but nothing's open on a Monday. This town's very cute, but kind of seems like they suffer from a lack of restaurants or at least ones that are open on Mondays. And the places there are, are very, very crowded right now. So we've been walking up and down trying to figure out what to do. This has been successful for photos. It's a very photogenic location, Woodstock, Vermont. Not so successful for food. We're also hitting it at like peak tourist time. The leaves are changing right now and it's a holiday weekend. So there are a few places that are open, but there's just a crazy little wait for all of them. So there's like three, there's not that many places. I think, yeah. I think they need more restaurants in this town. It's a really cool little town though. We're, we're definitely glad that we stopped by here. But I think we're gonna just go back to our car, probably eat some food that we have in the cooler and kind of cruise out to a few little farms around town. Yeah. Outside of Woodstock, we found the Instagram famous farm. It's called Sleepy Hollow Farms, but it blew up on Instagram and there were a ton of people there. Of course, it's the middle of the day. It's one of those instances where if you go early, you'll probably miss the crowds. But we took a couple Instagram photos. It's private property, so obviously you want to be respectful that people actually live there. We saw a couple trucks come up from the property and they didn't seem to mind that people were at the top of the driveway taking photos. At least they didn't say anything. But it was pretty cool to see. It's, it's always fun to see something in real life that you've seen online that's super popular. Now, uh, I think we have to get some miles under our belt, so. We're kind of lucky because one of the ways they say is the fastest way is Vermont 100, which is one of the most scenic drives in the state. So I think we're gonna head down that way and it'll be nice and scenic. Didn't get five minutes down the road before we saw a homemade ice cream sign and Kevin just had to stop. It breaks for ice cream. Oh, they got banana splits. What do you think, an October banana split? <laughs> Maybe Vermont maple walnut. They were out of most flavors, but they did have a few left, so. And Kelly said she didn't want any, but she even said she'd drive so I could eat the ice cream. And then he handed it to me, what do you want? <laughs> Thank you. 
How long did we make it? 15, 20 minutes before yeah, I think stopping it was like a again? Half hour. Well, I saw a sign for Maple Creamies, which not so into the ice cream, but I've heard Maple Creamies are good around here. I don't really know what creamy is, but. It's pretty good. You want to taste it first since I tasted your ice cream no, first? I can have ice. So a Maple Creamy is basically maple soft serve which I'm not much of an ice cream person. I know I'm crazy, but soft serve, soft serve's good. I can do soft serve. This is absolutely delightful. Is it really good? Oh, it's so good. Ooh, that is really good. Should I get this too? Two ice creams in one day? <laughs> and they got these little maple, this was a total impulse buy. I mean, the whole stop was impulse, but we saw these too. These are little maple cream cookies, I guess. Mmm. Little shortbread cookies with like maple frosting in between them. Mmm. I got maple creamy in my hair. <laughs> I got maple creamy in my hair. Well, we made it another 20 minutes. <laughs> and then we saw a cute country store. So we stopped. That was his idea, just for the record. It actually was. <laughs> Not always me. <laughs> I know everybody thinks that Kelly just likes this fall stuff, but I actually like it too. Look how cute it is. Nice. Oh my god. Dude. Look at that. Yeah. Good stop. Good job. He likes it too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Places like Instagram Gold. Super cute. Keeps coming up with Instagram ideas. I've been doing this for too long. We're staying the night in Albany tonight, so we're officially out of New England. Hmm. It was a good trip though. To be honest, I thought we were gonna do more today, but it ended up just being mostly driving, which is fine. I got my maple creamy, so I'm happy. And I've already ordered an Italian dinner for us to enjoy in our nice hotel room tonight. So, all in all, not a bad day. We really hope you enjoyed our New England leaf peeping adventures. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because we have some really fun trips in the works that we wouldn't want you to miss. This is Kelly from The Awkward Tourists. Peace out. Welcome to the mountains of Los Angeles. Wow. Blurry foreground. Like a pilgrim. Dang it. I thought you said you didn't want any. I'm taste testing. Making sure it's not poisoned. <laughs> oh my god. Shh. Shh. Quiet. Filming. I got 